This is what Helene does when I'm doing room tours. <laughs> so we've got two double beds, one for me, one for Hells. Little loungy area, coffee machine. They set up this cute little stand for us, like chocolate and meats, a little bit of ice. And we also have a bottle of champagne, which, you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Prosecco baby, so I'm a like that. And then outside we have a really gorgeous view of the property, which is simply bloody huge. So it's very it's early. What time is it? It's like it's almost 5 a.m. It's 10, sorry, it's 10 to 6 in the morning. And we're heading down to the special springs they have here. Um, they have a special name, actually. I've forgotten it already, but I'll put it on the screen somewhere. Um, and basically, um, we're gonna have a private pool sesh. Okay, guys, as you can hear from the ambiance, I'm now in the spa. It's actually insane. Um, it's still quite dark outside, so it's not that easy to see, but we're waiting for the sun to rise and just take a look at this. So the pool here is a subterranean pool. Um, I hope you can hear me, one of its kind um, in this area, I should say. So it's like basically underground. We had to take the lift down and we came down and the water's hot. They have like little waterfalls and all the water is basically coming from the mountain. It's meant to have a healing property, so heal me, baby. Fun facts about the terrarium subterrarium. What are you doing? <laughs> okay, so a few fun facts about the subterrarium. One, the water, it has healing powers. Two, if you put your head in the water, you can actually hear a different music that they have playing under the water, which is quite cool. Um, three, it's the only one in the area. And four, it's lovely. It's a very lovely time. So I'll soon be switching over to Helena because I need to adjust the trap pad. But we are getting into the outdoor pool. Oh, the sun is just rising and it's a beautiful day. I'm actually really glad we got up at five. Well, we got up at 4.5 for this. <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> Helena's doing the vlog. So we're in the outdoor pool at the moment. Here's Ashley. And it is so nice and hot. Like inside it? was absolutely freezing. <laughs> no, it wasn't freezing. Just the water was a bit of a shock. But it feels like we're in a blanket and it's lovely. The round two guys, we've got spuds, we've got a waffle and chicken sandwich. Huevos and cheddars, and I think I said that wrong, but and then we've got pound cake with a raspberry coulé, but it's got peach in it. Okay, so I'm gonna try this the biscuit. Chicken. Biscuit. It's very fluffy. What is this? Does it smell garlicky? Oh my god. Mm. I don't think it is garlic. It actually tastes sweet. Yeah, I think it's got salt on it. I mean sugar. Oh yeah. Uh, this this reminds me of like a margarita. Chop it. Do you know what Pizza. I mean? Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna taste my first pound cake. America is very sweet, sweet. Yeah, it's so you I'm gonna try it with no dip first. Okay. But don't take this as what a pound cake tastes like. Oh, it is nice. It's a little bit of a twist on it. It's a twist on a pound cake. Well, I would say so. Oh the potatoes are good. Oh yeah, it's really sweet. It's hard to, <laughs> particularly like scrolling, you know, the images or whatever. Well, at a certain point, it's like. Wavers Rancheros. <laughs> yeah, that's good. I like the cheese. Mm. 
Right guys, so we just finished lunch and now we're just walking around West Asheville. What's that? Bell, Bell Bonds. jail. So we're just walking around West Asheville. Um, I don't really know what we're going to do for the afternoon because our plans actually got cancelled. So we're just kind of winging it, seeing the town. There's a lot of vintage stores around here and I'd love to find some cowgirl boots. So. There's like a rando chapel in the middle of this vintage store. Dearly beloved, we're Unlike gathered here today. Unlike traditional marriage full of promises of eternal love, fidelity and devotion, this fake as hell wedding is confirmation of true and blue friendship like hoes before marriage. Right, let's do it. We're a friendship marriage in. We can do fake marriage for the weekend. I do? <laughs> do you take as your playmate number one lunch date your phone a friend no matter the time of day and don't say nay? Do you take me? <laughs> no. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the hell? This is wild. We have checked into our third and final hotel of the trip. This is The Foundry, which is meant to be one of the most exclusive and best hotels in Asheville. So I'm very excited. It's given industrial, it's given loft in New York kind of vibe, even though Helena's gonna beg to differ. Okay guys, so we are just heading out to breakfast, but we're probably just gonna get like a coffee and maybe a bagel. I feel like a bagel now. Um, just like lights because we're going on a tour with a company called Hood Huggers. So from what I know, the um, the tour kind of gives us information on the history of this town in a black perspective. So obviously we are in the south, and there was obviously we all know there's a deep history here. Um, so we're gonna go on the tour and learn a bit about how that has affected Asheville and how that affects Asheville to this day. So it should be interesting. But first, coffee. Yeah, said and tell the girl, my life be like yo. Never look in a year, they bark out, they ain't taking a year for you. They feel singing and under, so can store up by my side, oh, why? So to the rap, put it for me, or for the baby. For my girl. It's nice and thick. We have almost over our tour now, we're almost at the end, but we have just stopped. As you saw, we got in a magic school bus and everything. It was and so great. Um, ma magic school bus. The magic school bus. Um, we've just stopped. We're gonna have lunch um, at this local food truck, um, which is a local guy, and we're gonna have some real soul food. So everyone's been saying that we've been eating Southern food on Instagram, but they're like, you need to have the soul food. So here we go. We're gonna have the soul food from a guy. I think it's like the Comedy King. I'll tag his page somewhere. But yeah, we're gonna try some more foods as usual. So we're here having lunch with the Flavor King. Yes, here he is. On, no, he's got his crown and everything. You gotta keep the crown. Yeah. And he's made us lunch. So we've got our lunch set up here. What's, up? What's, what's in there? So boom, we got fried cauliflower. We got some grilled salmon. We have some honey, a uh, bourbon mango chicken, vegan collard greens, sweet potato salad, something you never heard of Whoa. coming off of here. You I'm excited. Me? That raw flavor. Peach crumble, yeah. It's something what? you never heard of. So I feel like this is the real southern food. It's weird. <laughs> I was trying to figure out this is my fresh watermelon lemonade. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Fresh water lemon fresh, fresh watermelon fresh, lemonade. Yes, yes, fresh. How is it tasting so far? Oh, it's good. So good. Oh my god, the sweet potato is unreal. Oh, that is good. Where's your favorite place to eat in Asheville? Salmon. 
Oh wow. Okay guys, so we just got back from the Hood Huggers tour. Uh, it was really interesting to just like hear from a local, you know, the history of the black neighborhoods around here and just like kind of how they feel the community is changing and developing and what they're doing to make changes. Um, Dwayne was an absolute babe. He was so funny and the food was Fromage or chefs. It actually may be the best meal we've had here in Asheville. Oh, I loved it. Um, but as you can see, I've just got my makeup because I'm in change. Um, we're going to pop into town and get a coffee and go to this like pop shop where you have like these, they have like four or 500 different types of soda, which is a bit wild to me. And then we are going to go to spa. So that should be fun. Okay guys, so we're about to start our spa sessions, we just got here. So there's like showers in here and little changing nooks and stuff. So I'm about to get changed into my robe for my session. So the robes are like these kind of softy robes. So we have to have a shower before we get into the hot tub. So we've come outside, we're in our Arabs. Can you see our Arabs? And this is kind of the pool. And it's like hot tubby pool. And then there is your view. as they like to call them in the in the in the Carolinas in the South. About 90 minutes. Um sorry 60 minutes Varsash. How you feel how how's this like a red tomato? I look like what's on there. I look, I feel very relaxed. Very young. Catch a break, give a pretty brown girl a space. You can keep your better. I'ma make a better way. After a very eventful day, we are now in Benny on Eagle, which is the restaurant attached to our hotel. Um, but it is also, um, the chef is black and the um, menu is African-American inspired with hints of af actual African cuisine and Jamaican and Caribbean cuisine. Like you've got Trinidad doubles, you've got bun and cheese, you've got fufu on the menu. Like it's actually like, in the roots of the black culture on that uh, menu right there. So we're gonna have some dinner here. I'm quite excited for it. We've added all of the Trinidad doubles because Helena is Trini and she really wanted it. <laughs> and we ordered the seared octopus because I love octopus and the um, waiter recommended it. So we got it. And then we also ordered the lamb and the yard bird. So hopefully it's really good. They're all kind of at the same time. I'm having my first quartz here and the night. It's rum based. It kind That's of not your first. It's my hot of the evening. I had a uh, prosecco of the afternoon. <laughs> the, I'm having a rum based cocktail, which is kind of similar to a rum punch, but it's it's definitely got some cinnamon or something in there. It's very different. Helena has a gin-based cocktail, but she's not massive. Oh, I, made, I made a bad decision. Bad decision, sadly. We all do, don't we, once in our lives? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um, I'll wait for the food to come and I'll show you. Guys, we got our lamb. We've got, I think it's the octopus. This is the doubles, and this is the yard bird. Excited? <laughs> and also the octopusy. And also, they were saying they were getting cold. Oh, this is nice. It's a perfect um, softness. Thank you. Thank you. I'm gonna try this bird. There's gonna be a bone in there. It is quite teriyaki. Right, I'm about to try the lamb in my bone. Try the chicken. Oh, lamb is good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> and we made it! <laughs> oh, yes. 
so we have just got to the top of Frying Pan Mountain. It's a little hike here in Asheville, so we can get some really good views of the tabletop, or the Blue Ridge Mountain, sorry. So this is the Blue Ridge, and now I'm guessing this is the frying pan. Oh. We're gonna climb up here so we can get some better views. Oh yeah, it's windy. Not gonna lie guys, pretty yeah. shaky and scary. I'm scared. <laughs> so um, I climbed up one flight of stairs and it started to shake and I decided that this is not for me. Um, I like views a lot, but I'm not, I'm not capable of this. So I'll paste in Helena's view of upstairs. <laughs> so our hike was an absolute fail, I'm not gonna lie, because the hill the mountain bit that we were supposed to hike was closed and then um, we went up another bit, the frying pan bit that I showed you guys and I was too scared to climb the frying pan and it was also shaking because of the wind and it was closed at the top so we couldn't even go to the top and see the view anyway. So hike of the Blue Mountains was a fail sadly, however we're making it up because we're going to have donuts. And that is always a good time. So we're currently at the hole and this is freshly made donuts. Apparently they're unreal. We just ordered a baker's half dozen, which is apparently seven. I thought it was six. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for some donut action. Okay guys, so here are the donuts. So this one is a bit of a weird concoction. It's like lemon um, and palma violet or something and tequila. So yeah, I'm not really sure what it's gonna taste like, but we'll see. This one is cinnamon and this one is vanilla glaze. There's another one, but hell's over there taking a photo. <laughs> Um, so yeah, we're gonna try these. Okay, so I think I said this before, but the donuts are from a place called Hole, which is meant to be like one of the best donut places in Asheville. So obviously we had to try. We were really excited and we have some time this afternoon. So we were like, let's get it in. Um, I might wait for Hell so we can try it together. All right, let me taste it then. Oh. Mm. The texture is different. That's a coconut. Mm, I haven't had coconut. Yeah. No. It's so easy to eat. Mm. It's like real heavy. All right, this is the lemon I mean, and palma violet, guys. I don't know if I'm gonna like this. I mean, both of us don't agree. It's not our best moment. I'm not gonna lie. This is not a vibe. Yeah, I thought that. This like one's tequila. texture is much nicer than the other one. It's more fuller. Does it taste like tequila? Mm. No. It's a no for me. What's a wasted time? What's that, the cinnamon? Yeah, was bad. This is good. Yeah. Alright, mm. but I like this one's thicker than the glaze. I like that. The glaze stole the show for me. I like that Picasso. I don't need lunch. I mean, I definitely can eat it, but you're right. That's for sure. I could eat like some wings. Mmm, it's got wings. I love wings. From where? I don't know. Right, so we've ended up in bed, in robes, watching Jerry spring up with chicken wings. And lemonade. <laughs> yeah, friends. All right, so let's start with the mac and cheese. Mac and cheese is the hardest thing to keep me happy with, so let's see. It's not bad. Like, it's not like what I would make at home. However, it's edible. It's good. It's tasty. I'd enjoy eating it. Oh, it's different. It's not so, it's very crispy and dry. It's all it's spicy, but not that flavoursome. It's interesting. Okay, the honey is definitely better. The first one was actually spicy. Like he was like, oh, I wouldn't recommend getting above mild. We were like, okay, my mouth is burning. <laughs> like burning. However, the honey is really good. So yoga was 
a blast. I actually really, really enjoyed it. The blue light was giving me all the energy and recharge that I needed, but we've had to quickly run home and get changed. So this is our little outfit check because we're going to see a screening for Moses Sumney, who is like a famous um, singer, director, all around creative kind of vibe. But anyway, this is my outfit check. I love us. And now we're gonna go. <laughs> Okay, so I woke up at seven o'clock because we've got to get ready to go out. And Helena decided to open up the windows. Let's have a look at the, the lovely day outside. Lovely day, it's snowing. What? This has got to be a joke. It's got to be a joke. It's snowing in April. In the south. Right, guys, so we just stopped and got a Jeremy's. Um, and now we're heading to our foraging tour. However, I am not excited about this because it's literally snowing in April. I don't understand. It's one degree. How's it look? She's Where bundled up in her trench on coat degree. on a, on the drive. I've got no coat because I didn't expect this weather. Um, but let's go pick some mushrooms, eh? Okay, guys. So we have just got to the farm. Um, I can't remember the quite name. I think it's Earth Haven. I'll tag them somewhere. And we're going to be doing a foraging. Um, it, <laughs> foraging exercise so basically we're gonna go around and we're gonna pick flowers and mushrooms and stuff all from the mountains and then we take it to a restaurant and they're gonna cook for us so i'm actually quite excited however it was snowing this morning and it's freezing so look at me i don't have the right clothes for this <laughs> yeah, i look crazy Get in there, Hills. Living off the land. Are you living off the land? We're learning how to live off the land. <laughs> We've come to Ashfield. Okay, so show. Can I put it in a bag? Good girl. Mmm. I like it. Oh, oh. But it gets a bit bitter at the end. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. It's kind of like um. Definitely oh. sparse. It's kind of smells like my incense at home. So yeah, so so do you know how your armpits smell different than your feet? No. <laughs> no. I never smell my foot. I don't know. Sassafras. I like saying it because it's uncomfortable. I was like saying sassafras. What sort of name is that? Um. So sassafras root. You know, like as we said, you can make root beer out of it. <laughs> I can still kind of smell similarities, but this is not, uh, this is a bit, I don't know, more strong than the leaf, maybe. No. But, you, you, oh, but you still smell the lemon in it? Yeah, mm, I can smell, it smells a bit more licorice -y. Yeah. Yeah, for sure, yeah. Where's the bagel growth? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'd say it's definitely more garlicky. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, whoa. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got a garlic explosion. Mm. I quite like this one. Yeah, this is all our forage. It's gonna make my lunch. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> so that was a little too hard, but not so bad. Oh, no, it's a lot. Totally I know, but it's too close to this. <laughs> You're freaking Yeezys. <laughs> <laughs> this is this. Well, we actually this. Costco? We could we could put some of this on there too. This is actually hickory nut oil that's mm -hmm. made by. Locally, by hickory nuts. Hickory nuts are <laughs> too much. <laughs> That's a little too much. Damn. Huh? Isn't burnt off sometimes in sushi? We're about to have some chickweed and onion grass. What's the and water? there's also what else is in here? Um, I think they had some black walnut. Is that a black walnut? That's a black walnut. Oh my god. Okay guys, so we are just heading down to the art district for our last activity of the trip, which is going to be a glass blowing, um, which is very different. Um, I'm a Del Chihuly fan, so I think it'd be great. Okay, guys. 
guys so it is finally our last night in Asheville it has been a jam-packed week and we have been invited down to a restaurant called Cultura um, and basically their whole um, ethos and kind of the unique selling point behind the restaurant is that it's farm to table so everything is really fresh which obviously goes along with our foraging that we did this morning so we have six courses all with a drink pairing exciting bread girl's gonna be rolling out of here um they also gave us this special sparkling water i'm not really a sparkling water gal but however they brew it themselves in their beauty and it's supposed to be better and really good for food pairing so well, let's give it a go